洛杉矶经济文化办事处与侨界共同庆祝双十国庆，一同切巨型国旗蛋糕，祝中华民国生日快乐。中华民国在台湾依然历历不摇，我们希望大家能够和谐、团结、携手合作，为我们的故乡打拼加油，为中华民国来加油支持。洛杉矶国庆酒会上灌溉云集，美国联邦众议院外交委员会主席罗伊斯也出席酒会。他表示，美国总统大选在即，无论大选结果为何，都不会影响台美友好关系。And I've been a member of that caucus for 20 years. That caucus is strong between Republicans and Democrats in the House. We are the ones that wrote originally the Taiwan Relations Act, and we are the ones that this session passed out of my committee the bill, which says. That not only do we ratify the Taiwan Relations Act, but also the six assurances that President Ronald Reagan gave. So I am sure, certain that regardless of who is president, the relationship between Taiwan and the United States is going to remain very, very strong. 乌龙舞狮热闹暖场，美西旧金山也同步庆双十，多国领事及侨胞，近七百位政商名流同欢共庆。The year 2016 marks another crucial time in the history of uh, uh, Taiwan's democratic development. On January 16th, the, the voters on Taiwan elected the first female president, uh, and at the same time, the third peaceful transfer of uh, political power. The 23 million people on Taiwan have demonstrated uh, the, uh, firm adherence to democratic values as a way of life. 政府上任后的首次国庆，加拿大多伦多也举办酒会庆祝。驻多伦多台北经文处处长借此重申，新政府对两岸关系发展的立场。蔡总统一上台就说得非常清楚啊，呃，我们是尊重这个历史的事实，然后并且是在中华民国的这个宪法架构下，呃，以这个民意还有呃这个民主的这个基础啊，来持续的推动两岸。关系和平稳定这样子的现况，那么我们也持续展开沟通的大门，呃，希望能够建造一个两岸这个相互信任以及和平的一个稳定的两岸关系。多伦多国庆酒会由办事处做东，在处长徐永梅带领下，数百位侨胞及加拿大政务官员为中华民国一百零五岁生日献上最深的祝福。